Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, are satellite constellations that provide geospatial positioning. These systems enable receivers to determine their location with high accuracy using time signals from satellites. The United States historically held a monopoly on global navigation satellite systems, known as GNSS, and controlled the global information flow through its GPS system for many years. Russia was the first to offer an alternative with its GLONASS system. However, the recent advancements in China's Beidou Global Navigation Satellite System have significantly changed the landscape, introducing a new major player in global satellite navigation. The United States faces significant technological competition as China advances its satellite capabilities. Equal sign, the Chinese GNSS known as Beidou system offers features such as two-way messaging, which the US GPS currently lacks. This feature enhances communication in areas without ground network coverage and has potential applications in search and rescue operations as well as in autonomous vehicles. This could be of great use in Africa, for instance. In this video, we will examine the differences between the US-based GPS and China's Beidou systems, exploring their technological capabilities and geopolitical implications. GNSS is essential for modern navigation and transportation, providing accurate positioning for vehicles, ships, and aircraft, enhancing safety and efficiency. Telecommunication networks use GNSS for synchronization, ensuring efficient data transmission. Emergency services rely on GNSS for dispatching and tracking, improving response times. Precision agriculture uses GNSS for field mapping and tractor guidance, increasing efficiency and yields. GNSS aids scientific research in monitoring tectonic movements and atmospheric studies. In daily life, GNSS is integrated into smartphones for maps, navigation, fitness tracking, and augmented reality. Economically, GNSS boosts productivity, reduces costs, and creates new business opportunities across industries. Several global navigation satellite systems, GNSS, exist around the world each operated by different countries or regions. Interestingly, out of the six system, three of them belongs to BRICS nations. Here are the major ones, including their operational dates and coverage areas, the Global Positioning System, GPS, managed by the United States. GPS began with the launch of its first satellite in 1978 and achieved full operational capability in 1995. The system, comprising at least 24 operational satellites, offers global coverage and serves a wide range of applications across various sectors worldwide. China's Beidou Navigation Satellite System BDS, represents a significant advancement in satellite navigation technology. Initially providing regional coverage in 2000 with BDS-1, it expanded to the Asia-Pacific region in 2012 with BDS-2. The system achieved full global coverage in 2020 with the completion of BDS-3. Beidou's constellation includes 56 satellites featuring advanced capabilities such as two-way messaging, which is particularly useful for communication in areas without ground network coverage, search and rescue operations, and autonomous vehicles. The system, developed by the European Union, started offering initial services in December 2016 and declared full operational capability, FOC, in 2019. Galileo aims to provide highly accurate global positioning services and currently has 26 active satellites with plans for further expansion, managed by Russia, became operational in 1993, and was fully deployed by 1995. After a period of decline, the system was fully restored in 2011. GLONASS offers global coverage with a constellation of 24 satellites providing positioning and navigation services comparable to GPS. India's also known as IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, became operational in 2018. NAVI-C provides regional coverage over India and an area extending up to 1,500 kilometers around its borders. The system consists of eight satellites with plans to expand its coverage and services. Japan's began offering services in 2018. QZSS is designed to enhance GPS services in the Asia-Oceania region, particularly Japan. It currently has four satellites in orbit, with plans to expand to seven, improving the accuracy and reliability of positioning data in the region. In 2020, China reached a significant milestone by completing its global navigation satellite system, Beidou, which now provides comprehensive global coverage and poses a challenge to the U.S. global positioning system, GPS. The development of Beidou began in the 1990s with Beidou-1, 
initially serving China. By 2012, Beidou 2 extended services to the Asia-Pacific region. The latest iteration, Beidou 3, was finalized in 2020 and now offers global coverage. The Beidou 3 system consists of a network of 30 satellites, including 24 medium Earth orbit MEO satellites, 3 geostationary Earth orbit GEO satellites, and 3 inclined geosynchronous orbit IGSO satellites supported by around 120 ground stations worldwide. This infrastructure ensures comprehensive global coverage and high-precision positioning, with accuracy levels reaching up to 10 meters globally and even finer within the Asia-Pacific region. Beidou also offers velocity accuracy of 0.2 meters per second and timing accuracy of 20 nanoseconds. Beyond basic navigation, Beidou provides a range of services including short message communication, ground-based augmentation, and global search and rescue capabilities. These features are particularly beneficial for sectors such as transportation, agriculture, disaster relief, and urban management. One notable feature is its two-way messaging capability, allowing users to send short text messages, which is especially useful in areas without cellular coverage. The deployment of Beidou has spurred significant economic growth within China, contributing substantially to the global navigation satellite systems market. The industry's output value reached approximately $53.4 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow further. Moreover, by offering services in regions underserved by GPS, such as parts of Africa, Asia, and South America, Beidou enhances China's geopolitical influence. This strategy aligns with broader initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative and the Digital Silk Road. Looking ahead, China plans to continue enhancing Beidou by integrating it with emerging technologies like the Internet of Things IoT, and autonomous vehicles. These advancements are expected to drive further growth and application of Beidou services. Despite its strategic significance, Beidou also participates in international collaborations, working alongside other global navigation systems such as GPS, Russia's GLONASS, and Europe's Galileo to ensure comprehensive global satellite navigation services. The completion of Beidou not only boosts China's technological and economic capabilities but also enhances its strategic global influence, positioning it as a formidable competitor in the field of satellite navigation technology. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. Beidou serves as a crucial diplomatic tool for China, extending its services to countries not well covered by GPS, particularly in Africa, Asia, and South America. This strategy not only enhances China's global influence, but also aligns with its broader initiatives such as the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, and the Digital Silk Road, DSR. The Digital Silk Road, introduced in a 2015 white paper as part of the BRI, aims to improve digital connectivity and promote digital economic growth in participating countries. It includes projects like cross-border e-commerce, smart cities, telemedicine, and internet finance. The initiative involves the direct participation of Chinese firms, providing them with opportunities to expand their market for goods and services internationally. In Africa, Chinese companies like Huawei and ZTE have dominated the telecommunications market, contributing significantly to the development of telecom infrastructure. This includes the deployment of fiber optic networks and mobile telephony advancements. For instance, as of 2020, 46% of Sub-Saharan Africa's population had a mobile subscription expected to rise to 50% by 2025. Additionally, China has been involved in providing digital surveillance tools and 5G networks, further integrating its technology into the continent's infrastructure. In South America, China's digital Silk Road extends through various projects, including the construction of subsea cables and the implementation of Beidou's navigation services. These efforts help enhance digital connectivity and provide strategic support for China's geopolitical and economic interests. By offering advanced technological solutions and infrastructure, Beidou and the DSR not only support the digital transformation of these regions but also strengthen China's diplomatic and economic ties with the participating countries. This comprehensive approach allows China to wield significant influence and promotes its vision of a shared future through technological collaboration. The U.S. Global Positioning System, GPS, 
managed by the Space Force, is facing significant challenges regarding its vulnerability to disruptions and its need for modernization. Despite being essential for global navigation and various industries, the current infrastructure of the GPS system is aging, with only six out of its 31 satellites being the latest generation GPS-3. The GPS modernization program is an ongoing, multi-billion dollar effort to upgrade its capabilities, including new civilian and military signals to improve accuracy and resistance to jamming. However, the program has faced delays and challenges. For instance, the Next Generation Operational Control System, OCX, which is critical for managing the new GPS-3 satellites, has been delayed multiple times and is now expected to be fully operational by 2025. A significant concern is the GPS system's vulnerability to jamming and spoofing attacks, which can disrupt its signals. The Department of Defense, DOD, has been working for over two decades to implement a more jam-resistant signal known as M-Code. However, the deployment of the necessary ground and user equipment to utilize M-Code has been delayed, affecting its widespread adoption. Moreover, experts have raised concerns about the U.S. commitment to fully modernizing GPS. There are currently not enough satellites broadcasting the civilian L5 signal, which is designed for high-performance applications like safety-of-life transportation. Only 17 of the 31 satellites in orbit are L5 capable, and full operational capability depends on the delayed OCX ground stations. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.